Hey Aquarius, this is Soul Intuitive uh, Tarot for Unique Souls. Welcome to my channel. Aquarius, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of June 6th through the 12th, 2016. All right, so let's get right into your messages. Uh, Aquarius, for some Aquarians that I'm reading for, you have the potential of dealing with the energy of the Six of Cups in the reverse. In the upright, this card in this particular deck is about pleasure. Okay, so maybe some of you may be feeling out of sorts this week. The reason why I'm saying that is because there could be a potential of someone from your past, um, specifically uh, romantic or intimate, trying to reach out to you. Uh, but because it is in the reverse, there may be an emphasis of you not trying to reconnect with this individual. Or it could be just you simply uh, reminiscing about something unpleasant emotionally attached to someone that you were intimate or romantic with. This also because this is a general reading and I'm, it's you know very, very broad. So I'm trying to cover all areas and aspects. This card here in terms of its energy that I'm picking up could relate to uh, some of you having to... Uh, go back or reminisce about some sort of uh, bad experience that brought on some emotional unhappiness for you that could be connected with a friend and also too could uh, be connected within the family structure uh, six of cups is associated with love and affection and water signs so cancer scorpio or pisces may be individuals involved it doesn't necessarily have to be it could be that they're you know these individuals that i speak of have water sign energies in their birth chart but it may be for some of you having to endure some sort of unpleasant memories from your past relationship friendship it could be you know a detachment from you know a job that brought some unhappiness for you but i do feel that there's someone from your past may try to reach out and connect with you, but I don't feel that it's going to be forthcoming. If it was in the upright, then it would be all about that pleasure. You experiencing that pleasure. Or it could be in the reverse. Just as well as someone from your past trying to reach out and connect with you. It could be you um, wanting to reach out, but you're hesitant to do so. And it's bringing you some sort of emotional discomfort okay but this is your overall energy but all is not dismal here because some of you may have endured some sort of happiness and connecting with someone new uh we have the ten of cups here in the upright so this is a very good card yesterday going back uh to two weeks since this is a mini read but it also is in your general reading for this week in terms of the energy so some of you experience some sort of happiness related to the home life and family. Um, this is just a good card. The tens are always, um, especially the cups, because it's all about love and affection and emotions. So some of you are experiencing some sort of happiness uh, within the family structure or connecting with someone new, possibly in a relationship or started dating someone. This is centered around children, so it may have been that some Aquarians that I'm reading for the children brought some happiness to you, but it's centered around the home as well. Then also to the uh, Ten of Cups relates to possible marriages. You know, two people getting married. So if it's not the energy directed towards you and, you know, it could be someone that, you know, may have gotten married within a two week period. But whatever the reason, when it brought a lot of happiness, it was a, a good emotional uh, experience or event. This also relates to um, because I am reading for you for June, this may also relates to that happiness and emotional fulfillment from uh, possibly attending you know graduation ceremonies college 
children in college, children in high school, something going on, something brought a lot of happiness in. And because it's here, it's still energy moving forward. So if the uh, weddings or graduations haven't taken place yet, it may be this upcoming week that they are taking place. Now, in the middle of the week for you, Aquarius, this represents you, the Ace of Swords in the upright. And I like this because this is all about uh, Aquarians that I'm reading for being very determined this week. Uh, Aces are fresh starts, new beginnings, of course, and I associate this with uh, a clearing, uh, gaining clarity and using your emotional. I'm sorry, not your emotional, using your logical mind as opposed to your emotional heart when it comes to making decisions. Um but th this card here is a card of no stopping you. This is associated with a lot of determination as well. So uh, positive energy here. And then because it does represent you, it could be that there's an involvement um, related to other air signs, uh, Gemini, Libra, male or female, something going on. It's a lot of drive. And determination with this ace of swords and it also relates to um, achieving some sort of success so keep that in mind then you have another ace Aquarius this is the ace of cups well you can't get no better than this um, this is about a new relationship about to begin for some Aquarians who are single possibly with a water sign doesn't necessarily have to be it's just a, a card that's coming through uh, to say that there is, and it may happen on Friday since I always, you know, read the tail end of the card as Friday going into the weekend. So it may be something that starts up Friday going into the weekend. This is not just for the singles it's for the, uh, Aquarians who are coupled as well, that you may experience some sort of emotional happiness and enjoyment, uh, in terms of a relationship, especially with the 10 of cups coming in. And then their ace of swords. So there's a lot of uh, success to be achieved here. And then this ace of cups could not only extend out to uh, relationships, it could be, you know, an offer of, you know, like a, a new job or a friendship that brings about some sort of emotional happiness for you. I will still stick to this overall energy of the six of cups in the reverse that some of you may be going down memory lane reminiscing about a intimate or romantic uh, relationship from the past someone reaching out to you trying to reach out to you and you possibly uh, turn them down or you're thinking about reaching out to someone and then there's some hesitancy and not reaching out the six of cups also relates to some Aquarians who may have children um, that are coming across as being emotional right now but that could also be if it's a tied into graduation, it could be that that's the emotions that I'm picking up. OK, but I feel if that's the case, it's not. There could be some sadness, you know, because it's, you know, one transition to the next. So it's like an ending. It's just the cycles and the chapters that we go through in our life. And so it could be bringing some emotional sadness or. I don't want to say unhappiness to them, but just emotional sadness. And it could also relate to you. You know, if, if the graduations that I'm picking up. Because then it means that if they're high school and graduating and they're venturing out to college, it could be you who's, you know, emotionally unhappy about the transition for the child. OK, so like I said, I'm covering trying to cover all. Uh, areas here and, and, and be very very broad with the messages for you but there is something good coming with two aces that are in the upright position for Aquarius uh, and it's based on uh, new beginnings and fresh starts possibly and uh, relationships and then being very very determined so I see a lot of happiness here home life and uh, relationships for Aquarius so I don't know um, what I did for you for your June oh by the way I think I did <laughs> and you guys were slamming me but that's okay I'm still going to give you the messages but anyway that's your reading Aquarius 
the messenger oracle card that I have selected for you to support your reading. Uh, and these are new cards that I'm using, so I will read the message from the card. And I have chosen share your thoughts. So the message for share your thoughts for you, Aquarius. And sometimes, you know, the, the readings may not resonate with you in terms of the cards that I pull, but sometimes the Oracle cards will uh, have something in there for you and vice versa. So the message for you, uh, Aquarius, is you have hopes, dreams, goals, and ideas. Do not guard your ideals jealously, nor keep them locked within for fear that another may steal them or offer ridicule instead of support. It is time to share your version. It is time for me to get new glasses because it said clearly vision. Tell Great Spirit and Gaia if of your dreams and hopes so they may send you what you need. Speak of your dreams to others. Connect with those who share your goals and hopes for they may be able to help you. Realize your dreams sooner. Okay. That's your message. And this is your reading. Once again, Aquarius, I want to thank you for uh, visiting my channel. I do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. Until the next time, Aquarius, take care. I wish you all love and light. Bye.